Apparently, from the deposits of Tenke Fungurumu, we have an underlying matrix of uh, maybe Krasakala. Sitting in between that would be some uh, malachite. And then coating the whole lot would be at Ruzi Quartz. Now, this one makes a lovely, lovely geode. Actually, a very aesthetically appealing specimen. Where you have, um, Kale is mainly a, a, a white, a milky white with with undertones of green. I think in my still pictures, you can clearly see the, the malachite on the edges of the, uh, on the rims of the crystals. Can be displayed various ways around. I quite enjoy this. Go in like that. And there you have the little, appears to be potroids, which is most likely they are growing around Krasakala. But in this case, the Krasakala is rather white. And then with the little coloration of malachite in between, all the way from the deposits of the Tenke Fungurumu in the Katanga. Um, get that, go around. Down this way. So it's a little geode. It's a, it's a covered vug. Crusty material on the outside, and here we go into the vug. Uh, let's see how deep we can go into this vug. Let's see if we can zoom in over there. But on magnification, you'll find that it's tiny quartz crystals which have been, to some extent, infiltrated by malachite. So you'll find, uh, as an inclusion in the quartz, is most likely little sprays of malachite. Of course, under magnification. I still have to look at these under magnification. All the way from the Katanga Copper Crescent in the Congo. Quartz, malachite, and Krasikola.